Hi everybody, this is Connie from Connie's Kitchens, and you can see I'm not in a kitchen today. It's kind of hard to visit kitchens right now. I came to you back in March with an episode of Kitchen, and we talked to some of the downtown businesses because the whole plague, if you will, had just descended, and everyone was very hopeful and making plans and meeting all the requirements. And today is December 1st, and as we all know, things have really changed, and not necessarily for the better. So I want to go back and talk to some of these businesses and see how they're doing, how they're coping, what they might be planning, and share that with you and remind you if you're watching me in another community, you have downtowns and business districts too, so we need to support them and talk to them and remember these folks, because this is their life. So let's go see what some of them are doing. Paul Leppi from the Magic Rotting Box. We're here to say thank you, Oxford. Tomorrow is actually December 2nd, our first year anniversary. It's been a wild year. Maybe not the greatest of times, but you guys helped us push through. Luckily, construction's almost done. The holiday seasons are coming. We're looking forward to having a great, great holiday season and a great start to the second year. Appreciate everybody coming in and all the orders for the holidays. Everything's been great. I wish my wife Heather was here to see you guys, but she's at home right now. She does the night shifts, so we're busy. We're all working 18 hour days just to make you guys happy. Well, I went live. I'm a little shaking, a little scared. Uh, the future in my head went a lot differently than it did on paper. I assume that construction is going to be a big part of uh, our, our, our upcoming sales and COVID, obviously. Yes, I'm very hopeful. I'm excited. We're here to stay, we're not going anywhere. You guys proved to us that we needed a bakery in town, and you picked us, and we appreciate that. Thank you. So it was great talking to Paul. He and his wife have been contributors to the free meal program also. So in the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of the construction mess, there are still people that live and work and have their business in this community and still contribute to the community. That was their idea, not mine. So let's go over and talk to the folks at Homegrown and see what they're doing. My name is Jeff Powers. I'm the general manager here at Homegrown Brewing Company. Uh, we are sitting here in one of our fantastic igloos that are available for rent. It's kind of hard to sum up uh, everything. As this is a big picture issue, especially for restaurants, but not just restaurants, all small businesses in general. And uh, those who are actually part of the true middle class, it's, it's, uh, it's been a tough go this time around. Um, we did quite well the last uh, shutdown and the last carry out and communities come out and supported us and we're Eternally grateful for that, and we realize this this time it's it's a little bit different with uh, the cases where they are, with the weather changing, uh, with um, you know the holidays making it a little bit harder on you guys to come on out and support. Um, but you know I just urge everybody, as I have before in some of my Facebook live posts, is just we need to rally together as a community. That's that's the most important thing. Um, people have been coming to me and asking me, "How are you doing? How are you doing?" It's you know we're not terminally ill here. We're just on some rough times. Uh, so I do urge you to not just support restaurants, but all local businesses. Think about their employees. Uh, think about um, how many are going to be around in the next couple of months. Um, so as their Christmas gift, it's just come out and support your community. And I, I can't say that enough. So um, as far as the specifics, we are able to retain most of our staff. I mean, it's going to be in limited hours. It's, it's kind of one of the tougher decisions you have to make as a business owner is uh, where does that money go? And as I was saying before, one of the difficult things is, uh, as a business owner is you have to you know, kind of put things through this, this algorithm and see if it's going to be worthwhile to keep your staff or stay open. And, you know, it was always something we decided from the get that um, even if it's a break, even endeavor, we want our staff to keep, keep working if they want to keep working. And we've, we've had a great group of people who, who do, you know, um, it, it would be, uh, be nice to have every single person back for full time, but um, we're giving what we can and they're, they're coming and uh, giving what they can to the company. And it's, it's really, it's really nice to have that support for my family. So, uh, in turn, come out and support that staff. So please do. Yes, always, 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 always. Um, so evolution is, uh, you know, it's a necessary thing. And unfortunately, right now, uh, economically, it's it's hitting the restaurants the the toughest. So when I say evolution, it's like we got to get creative with carry out, with uh, our social media activities, with our fundraising efforts, and all that. And a, as a whole, so 
Yeah, with the igloos, that's right. So, uh, you know, this is something other people have been doing for a while. Um, as far as the future in general, absolutely. Um, you know, this is an unfortunate test of, of us as people coming together as a community. And now I think this time we realize um, it's about our neighbors. It's about, you know, our friends. It's about our, again, small community that you got to come out and support. And it's, it's less less political nowadays. So that's kind of a nice thing to, to see. But, um, I mean, spring 2021, cannot wait. Cannot wait. You know, we're, we're going to be uh, enjoying, again, patio season. Um, and, you know, I'm no infectious disease expert, but, uh, you know, we got to keep our fingers crossed and hope for, hope for the best. So, yes, I am absolutely positive. Over at Red Naps, and we're too early, they're not here yet. But uh, they've got the patio, it's not winterized, and they don't have an igloo. But we don't know what they have planned either. But their carryouts are great, so keep them in mind too. We'll go see, I think we'll go see Angie at Evergreens now. one of the bartender managers here at the Oxford Tap. Um, currently we are open on our patio for dine-in and we are still doing curbside pickup for carry-out. Um, business has been okay as it can be of course. Um, we're following all the rules and regulations for health code, keeping our patio open on a couple sides here but we still try to keep it as warm as possible. Um, we have some heaters going at all times. We have one that blows some nice warm air over there. Um, we have, yeah, we also have blankets over here. Um, everybody's welcome to use those as well. Um, keeps you nice and cozy. Um, business has been pretty well, as good as it can be, like I said. We're hopefully looking forward to opening back up on the 8th. We'll see if that happens, but trying to stay positive and keeping good vibes here at the tap. Yeah, I think so. I think we're all pretty hopeful. Um, it's good to always stay positive and situations like this instead of looking at all the negatives, I would say. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yes. A lot of good regulars still come by every day, sit on our patio and drink, and it's really cool to see everybody come out here even when it's snowing and 30 degrees outside. We do have daily specials every day, as you can see here, but we don't, um, unfortunately, we're not doing any wing specials or anything of that sort at the moment. We still do our beer of the month every month um, for $3. And then, yes, like I said, we do the daily specials that we have every day that rotate. So we took a quick stop at the tap on the way over here to visit Angie at Evergreens. Now, Angie not only is dealing with all the construction and stuff that everyone else is, but she changed locations in the middle of all this. And from what I hear, she's doing great. We talked to Angie back in March. Let's see how she's doing now. Come on in.
So I'm standing outside Blue Ivy. They're closed today, but I was just talking to the owner, and she's very hopeful moving forward. She says business is good and getting better, and she knows the road's about to open, and so she's not available to talk to us today. But I did want to mention beautiful home furnishings right here in the middle of downtown. So come on and check them out. Now we're going to go see what's happening at the 24th Street because Angie went to the grocery store. So we'll go back to Evergreens. Come on with me to 24th Street. Okay, so I'm at the 24th Street, and I'm not sure what the hours are right now because they're closed right now, probably getting ready to open for carryout later. But again, a great place. It's been very supportive of their customers and the customers of Nen. So you just have to think about all these places downtown and keep coming down to visit. The holidays are here, and it's a really good time. And even if it's a quick visit while you pay and leave, you're showing you care. So do that. We're going to walk down this block and see if anybody else is in right now. So come on with me. Making a little tour around town today and I wanted to stop in the park you know just because we can't have the parade and the tree lighting the park is still decorated this is lit up at night and there's a little secret back here follow me Santa's mailbox it's here just like every year they put it back here this year because of the construction on 24 so you can still mail your letters to Santa so get those letters written and get them in Oh, there's letters in there. Hello, it's Nicole at Five One Diner. We are here hanging tough through construction and COVID. We have family pan specials available um, every day in the full menu for curbside and carry out. And we're hopeful to see all of you back in here again, dining in very soon. We did very well Thanksgiving. We were able to feed several families in need and a bunch of seniors on the NOTA route. We are. We're waiting for these barrels to be out of the way and we think we'll, we can withstand the carry out uh, a little bit better. We're just waiting for everybody to be able to come back in here and hopefully it'll be the 8th. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Merry Christmas guys. Thank you. My name is Dale Black. I'm the manager at My Kebab. Uh, we've been open since June 17th this year. We've done, uh, it's been interesting with the COVID and the uh, road construction. Uh, business has picked up and then it drops. It's, it's hit and miss, but uh, we're looking hopeful. It's, it's going to be, um, I think it's going to be a great next year actually for us. And um, uh, we're looking forward to it. People out here in Oxford have been great. We can't say enough about them. As a matter of fact, I'm moving out here next spring. So it, it's, it's been great. So we're, we're hoping for the best here. Uh, yes, it, it, actually for us, we're, we sanitize pretty, pretty much. Every time a customer's been in here, we're sanitizing. Uh, pens, menus, we, we're using carry-out menus for everybody. They can take them with them. Um, we were doing dine-in, of course. We were sanitizing after every dine-in. Uh, all the menus were sanitized. Uh, we just constantly keep up on everything. Uh, all the health department regulations, we're, we're following by them. Uh, everybody here is wearing a mask, as I'm not right now, but the only reason I'm doing that is so I can talk. Oh, we're very hopeful moving forward. Um, we're looking forward to 2021. We think it's going to be a great year for us here. Yeah, that's... I, I was actually retired until the owner called me up and asked me what I was doing. I said I was retired. He said, I need you unretired. So <laughs> I've known him 25 years and he's a great guy and uh, quality food. That's, he believes in quality is number one. No, we're just looking forward to the upcoming year and uh, we hope to see everybody. We're getting a lot of new customers now too. So we're, we're open. We're open. Uh, we're here uh, 11 to 9, usually Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, noon till 8 on Sundays. Right. That was the manager of My Kebab, a very new business here in town that is doing really well. And judging by the smell, that's for dinner tonight. Hi, Kim Gibson of Charming Company Salons, right down here in beautiful downtown Oxford. 
yes, it's been quite a year for 2020. And, you know, as most of you know, um, salons were closed for three months. And we've been persevering through that, coming back in 50% capacity and pretty much 10 people at a max allowed in the salon. Um, and I think the latest challenge is, and we've been taking the safest approach possible. When we came back into this, we said safety is the new luxury, and we wanted to stick with the highest level of protocols. Um, anytime anybody in our staff says that somebody in their family was with somebody that had COVID or possibly had COVID, even if they've not been exposed, as we have them get tested, and then now the health department has them be out for two weeks. So nobody's test tested positive. We've had no client test positive. Um, it's all been really good that way, but we're still providing the best safety we can. Um, we love Oxford, and we love what we do here. So we continue to bring in more retail items for Christmas shopping and adding extra stuff that's not just hair to be able to persevere during this time. Um, we brought in new staff and doing a lot of training. So that's actually been a lot of fun. So, you know, we're grateful for Oxford and for your support, and we hope that you'll continue to support us through whatever comes next. Yeah, you know, we had a lot of loyal clients that did wait for us, and, you know, that was, you know, wonderful to see everybody again after that three-month hiatus. But now, you know, we're getting clients that are being very honest with us that, you know, they would have been, we're with somebody that might have had COVID or, you know, they're going through testing or they're not feeling well and canceling and that's what we want. So um, not that we want people to cancel, we just want to provide a safe place. So there's not, nothing else that you can do but be hopeful. You know, if you, if you lose your hope, then, you know, what is left? So we just keep persevering forward and being positive and finding ways to be creative to keep our business, you know, viable and thriving and, you know, one day at a time. All right, so we're standing in front of Charm and Company. You just heard from uh, one of the owners, and the salons were really hard hit the first three months of this. I mean, and then they went to every length they possibly could to reopen, and their clients were loyal and came in and let their hair grow gray. You know, some of us haven't been there yet. But there, as she said, you have no choice but to stay positive, and that's what they're doing one day at a time. Now, we've been working our way over to Evergreen, so we're going to head back there again, but it's been fun to stop along the way, too. So let's head over and see if Angie's back yet. Come on. My name is Angie Green, Evergreen's Coffee and Bake Shop in downtown Oxford. We just recently moved downtown. Uh, we moved from Pleasant Street, so not very far, but we are enjoying our new space here in downtown Oxford. Um, most of you know it as the old space of the Sweet and Savory um, that unfortunately closed a few years back. Um, we've done some remodeling. It took us about five weeks to get that done uh, amongst the... Uh, COVID crisis that we are having here in the world today. Uh, plus we've got construction out here and, and that will be ending Friday. So that will be very helpful. Uh, but I've always had a passion for the coffee shop. My grandparents owned a little, we'll call it a Ma Pa type Coney Island uh, restaurant. And I always wanted to do such a thing. Um, I'm an emergency room nurse by trait, uh, but this was always my bucket list passion. Um, so even through the crises that the world's today, um, I am enjoying this um, so much. And the community has been great um, with their outreaching and pouring in of love and support 
during our move and uh, building our business. It's been wonderful. I feel very positive. Um, our community definitely is great. I, I just don't even have another word to describe it. Um, they're very supportive. Everyone came out on Shop Small Saturday, and it, it's you just really feel the love in Oxford. There's just no other way to put it. Uh, so I think we'll do fine. I mean, we're going to go into 2021 um, with our eyes wide open, and um, we'll grab those dreams and grab all the goals that we have of what we're going to do with the business and what we're going to do with the community. We are doing whole cakes and whole, we were leaving pies to atchets. I probably said atchets. I, I always mess that up um, because they have fabulous pies here in Oxford. Um, but we're doing cheesecakes and we've done dinner rolls and cakes, German chocolate cakes, one of my favorites. Uh, bagel bombs is what we're kind of known for. They're made from scratch bagels. They're stuffed with plain cream cheese and various things, whether it be bacon and jalapenos or apple, uh, blueberry. Uh, we've also got a new um, chorizo, chorizo egg and cheese uh, bagel bomb that's gone over extremely well. Um, so people have actually picked those up and froze them. If they call me ahead of time, I can get them packaged up properly to pop right in their freezer. So they can actually wake up Christmas morning. Santa, I heard, might like those uh, for Christmas morning. During the week, we are open 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, on Saturday 7 to 7, and Sunday 7 to 2. Just come out and enjoy Oxford. We're a great little town, as you all know, uh, but with a lot of personality and a lot of love. So thank you for joining me. We finally got a chance to see Angie and talk about evergreens and bagel bombs. And you know, the mood overall in town has been very optimistic and it's really nice to see. What you see behind me is gonna change in a couple of days. The lanes will be open again. Traffic will be flowing in all four lanes. And the businesses are hanging in and they plan to keep hanging in. And that's really nice to see. So when you're doing your Christmas shopping or your Christmas entertaining, or you just need a nice cup of hot chocolate, come on downtown, there's a lot to see. Today we've seen the park, Santa's mailbox, and a few other little surprises. It's all here, it's different this year, but it's all here. And there's no reason to miss the experience. Come on downtown in Oxford. And come back to Connie's Kitchen when I find a kitchen that I can travel to and we will cook together again. But until then, stay well, remember the promise, and if I don't see you before, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.